Oh, this music. Oh, I forgot all about this music. The Mass Effect 1 soundtrack. All right, let's go ahead and venture around our ship. Glad hey. to see you're okay, Commander. Thanks, buddy. How are you? How are things holding up for you, Caden? Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you too. Oh, thanks. Thanks. That really means a lot to me. How are you holding up? Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. It doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. I couldn't have done it without you. We're Marines. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. I appreciate it, Kate. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not gonna be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Right. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? Well... It's not important right now. I'm in it for the action. I don't really have one. I never met my parents. If they wanted to see me, they'd have contacted me after that mess a few years back. Oh, that's right, a coos. I imagine that bought you any post in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh, tell me why? Mm. No, I'll, I'll be open. I'll be open. I feel like Clive is, as I said, Clive and, and Caden, they're, he, he, he respects the man. And he's like, sure, I, could, I can tell him. The captain hopes the ambassador can get an audience with the council. Tell them what Saren's been up to. Makes sense. They'd probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. Thanks, Caden. Joker's waiting for you on the bridge. All right. But I want to go check out the rest of the... rest of the ship. Oh. Hey, Ashley. There you are. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Thanks, Ashley. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Yeah. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You earned it, though. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I'm glad to have you. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Joker's waiting for you on the bridge, Commander. That's what Caden said. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Hey, Dr. Chakwas. Can you tell me a little bit more about Caden and Alenko? How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record, over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. Oh, that's all. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I would think that that um, Clive would have answered some of those questions for himself, considering how he's a biotic himself. I'm wondering if he has an L3. Uh, if he has an L3 biotic camp himself, because I don't think he gets migraines. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. 
I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. I'd really love Dr. Chalkboss. humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse, and the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. Mm. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. I, I have to respect that a lot, Dr. Chakwas. Good on you. She uh, She's wonderful. Dr. Chakwas is a wonderful, wonderful character. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye, Dr. Chakwas. How are the rest of you guys doing over here? Everyone good? You guys are good? All right. Awkward. The Normandy SR-1. Oh, Captain Anderson. Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. Go speak to Joker when you're ready. All right. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. All right, yes, sir. Um. Let's go down. Oh, yes. Go to the requisition office for sir to purchase new equipment. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, oh, and it's not cheap. I see. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of products. Right. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Makes sense. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. What do the different manufacturers offer? There are too many for me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. How often will you get new items? Well, that depends on how many licenses you've purchased. But I'll rotate items on a regular basis regardless. God, and any time we land someplace with a big enough port, I'll buy, sell, and trade whatever I can. Perfect. Check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic items will be stocked consistently. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Let's take a look. Alright, so here's our... Wow, we've got some pretty good stuff here. Metagel upgrade, grenade upgrade, um, but so far no licenses. I think I'm, I'm fine for right now, so just a good thing to check out, especially since, you know, it gives us, it gave us experience just, just by doing that. So change a squad member's equipment, target the member's locker and press E. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right, I remember that. Cool. I didn't have to do that in the other games, necessarily, because I could just toggle through all of them, even if they weren't currently my party. Oh yes, the core. Engineer Adams. Shame about Jenkins, Commander. I remember Engineer Adams. Shame about Jenkins, Commander. I know, I know. Alright. Let's, uh, let's move back up. Oh, Mako. How I didn't miss you. The Mako is that tank-looking thing in the hangar. I am not a personal fan of it. A good number of people swear by the Mako. Yeah, for me, it's left much to be desired, to be perfectly honest. Oh wow. 
Agency Com Link. Examine. Nice. Got even more Codex stuff. Which I'll probably take a break very soon to do. Navigator Presley. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Yeah, I agree. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough. I kind of wish that they gave us a little bit more time to get attached to Jenkins before they killed him off. It, or at least have him hang out with us until we met up with Ashley Williams. It seems like he shot him down very prematurely. I don't know, that his loss was... Yes, you had that brief conversation with him and Dr. Chakwas, but I think it, they could have done a little bit more. Where's Joker? Good timing, Commander. Oh, there he is. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Do it, Joker. Do it like I know you can. To the mass relay. Citadel in all her glory. Look at the size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Aww. Alliance Tower. Normandy out. I love it when Joker smiles like that. He's so adorable. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. Well done. Ah, we are at the Citadel. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. Mm. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I right. have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Mm. I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. How? The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's not my That's fault. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Thank, thank you. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Yeesh. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. I know. And that's why I hate politicians. I know, right, Ashley? I can't tell the aliens from the animals. That's kind of rude, Ashley. That's a really, really rude. Sure is peaceful here. Big place. Yes, I know. Hmm. Well, they've built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. Oh, the citadel. Seeing it for the very first time in game. It is so beautiful. And that Udina is... He is... He's an acquired taste. 
Oh, cool. Can I... Oh, I can decrypt Odina's laptop. Why as well, just because I can. Alliance Patrol Report. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Row Cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a recon team? Huh. Okay. Um. Alright. There's so many different places we can go. Oh! Hello. I understand what you're saying, but these allegations are very serious. I can't just... This is serious. My reputation is at stake. I spoke with the consort in confidence, and her alone, and she betrayed that confidence. All right. I will look into it for you. In the meantime, do not do anything rash. Oh, the Elcor. The Elcor are one of my favorite alien races in the Mass Effect universe. I love them. They look so they look so cute as I pull out my gun. No, no. Come on, Shepard. Uh let's talk to Zeltan. Hello there, human. Hi Zeltan. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari Consort's fault. Really? He's the one who started all this. Who's this Asari Consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Sha'ira, the Consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Really? Where can I find the Sasari Consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Well, we'll have to see about that, then. Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. You seem distressed. Alarmed response. You overheard What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. Okay. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Good luck with your problem. Maybe we Thanks can to talk to human. her. No problem, Zeltan. Kaylin? Please greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. Oh, thank you. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? <sighs> Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movement. Which is very interesting. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Hey! Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. Mm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Tell us about your culture. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. I understand. How about some history? Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, 
and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. Cool. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. You've got a bad attitude, rebuke. Dude. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Yes, thank you for that chastising rebuke. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. And good day to you too, Ambassador. What's your problem, Din Korlak? Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Din. At least introduce yourself. I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Try Earth me. Clan. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. Gotcha. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Well, neither do the humans. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. Well, we still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. You need, we need to do some fact checking on some of the things you're saying there, Ambassador. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus, when I'm not being interrupted. Ugh. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebukes. Lots of, ch lots of chastising rebukes. The council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the council long before our species will. Why aren't the Volus or Elcor part of the council? That's a good question. All species must prove themselves before they join the council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Oh, come on. Jeez. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. I intend to. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah, this talk is wasted on the humans. Right. I'm gonna go. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Oh. Hello there. It's a keeper. I forgot how really bizarre looking the keepers are. Alright. Relatively speaking. There's the human ambassador's location. Um, we've 
got a door there. And a door that we can't open here. So... Goodness gravy, there's a lot of places here. Embassy receptionist. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. What's that? Oh, Avina is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Oh, Feel free convenient. to access the terminal yourself. Convenient. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. I understand. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Thank you. There's Avina. Oh boy, I forgot just how... Yeah, Avina's right over there. This CSEC headquarters, Embassy Lounge. Goodness gracious, I forgot how... This place, I remember, is overwhelmingly huge. Hello, Avina. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Hmm. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Fair enough. How about CSEC? Or the embassies? Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. Important enough, eh? The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. Wow, that's a long time. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. Yeah, we're pretty darn young in Citadel space by comparison. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. It is interesting that, you know, they, humans, quote-unquote, are given preferential treatment. And I think from a story standpoint that, the, you know, since we are human in real life, then, you know, it would be convenient for us to be given preferential treatment and, you know, not have to worry about waiting a thousand years before we can actually get our feet, you know, dug into the Citadel, Citadel count, well, the Citadel politics, basically. 